Hey everybody, got an extra bait here. The Logitech trackball. I've been using this, not this particular one, but a Logitech trackball. I've been using them now for almost 20 years. I can't stand a mouse. I'll use a mouse, but this is, I prefer these. I've used these to the point where I, I mean, you can probably see I have a callus on my finger from using these. I've had five or six so far. They are great. But the buttons are weak. After 10 years, these buttons get really weak and you start getting double clicks when you do single it, like it debounces or it clicks wrong. And I don't want to buy another one for 90 bucks. If I could even find them new anymore, they keep changing the shapes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this one. To do that, I take the ball out, obviously. Remove the battery. Then I have to take off the little rubber covers to get to three of the screws. This one right here is, there's no cover there. And there's one more screw in here, somewhere in here. But I think this is the one where I broke it. We'll find out in a second. I don't think I need to unscrew that one. So what we're going to do is we're going to open it up. Just move these screws. If, if you're anything like me, you get comfortable with your computer gear, especially if, if that's your job and that's all you do all day is code. You get really comfortable with your gear and you don't want to change. So what I've done is, you can see there was a screw here but it got broke off. It's see stuck in there. So what you do is you take that off there. And now what's sticking is this little one right here. This one's fine, this one's bad. I have another, a couple more spares of these old ones where the button wore out to the point. And I keep telling myself I'm going to, and one of these days I'm going to remove the right button, which is good, and replace the left button here. But for now, I'm just going to clean it. And the cleaning is pretty easy. I just use contact cleaner or electronic cleaner, same thing, contact cleaner. Just spray it in there. Really good like that. Move the button up and down. Spray it in there again really good. Don't, don't be afraid to get it wet. Spray it in there really good, really good. Clean that thing out. Ugh, got out of my lips, that was good. So yeah, what I've done, and now once this dries, and it just takes about 10 minutes to dry. Once this dries, it'll be good for another uh, two or three months, thereabouts. And then I'll have to do it again. But I won't have to buy another trackball. So yeah, that's what I did. I pulled up our. Now I occasionally, like once a year, I'll strip these down completely and I'll just wash them and get them nice and clean. But for right night now, I am so tired of when I go to click on a file to drag the file to another folder, it opens the file up instead. I don't want to open it. And what's even worse is, yeah, it's bad enough for it dragging files around. But if you have to like. I do web web hosting, web designing, and managing. And if I got to go in via FTP and move files around, and I click on a file, I don't want it to download automatically, or I don't want it to upload automatically. I just want to click on the darn file. But when you get that double click happening, it can be awful. Before I figured out how to clean these, I used to have on my one of my Windows machines. I got so sick of it. I mean, it was it wasn't my main machine. It wasn't the machine that I use all the time. But it was a it was a laptop that I used. I got so sick of the double clicking. I went in there and I using Windows. I think it was Windows Seven. Might have been. Yeah, it was Windows Seven. I swapped the settings so that the left mouse became the right, the right became the left. It was a learning curve, but at least I didn't have double clicking no more. So that, that, that's how easy it is to just take one of these apart and clean it. It's very simple. Clean that contact and it's done. Now I can go back and use this. So there we go. That's an extra bit. Simple way. Fix it. Yeah, I really do think I need to clean it. I got a lot of grungies in there. 
Have a good day.